we were going to do what we can at the state level uh, to fight illegal immigration, particularly sanctuary cities. This is about the rule of law. It's also about public safety. No sanctuary in the Sunshine State. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis just signed a sanctuary city ban into law. So what does this mean for law enforcement in Florida? Brevard County, Florida Sheriff Wayne Ivey joins us now. Sheriff, thanks for being here this morning. So this, no, always a pleasure. Well, love having you. Thanks for what you do for your state and for our country. Uh, how does this law make your job uh, more effective? Uh, I mean, it it's absolutely gives us the ability to uh, partner with our federal um, law enforcement agencies to make sure that we're doing everything we can to uh, fight illegal immigration. And uh, I'll tell you, Governor DeSantis gets it. He understands that government's one and only responsibility is to protect its citizens. And that's what this bill does. That's what him signing it yesterday means to our communities, or to our state. Sheriff, you used the word partner, which makes a lot of sense to a lot of our viewers. So in effect, local officials now must share info on illegals caught violating laws uh, with federal agencies, meaning an ICE detainer uh, would, be, would be recognized universally uh, and, and fed, the feds would be notified. That, that's exactly right. And what the bill does is it prohibits any uh, local community government from stopping law enforcement from partnering with our, our uh, ICE and, and immigration teams. You know, I, I tell everybody that there's all sorts of ships in the ocean that that uh, can uh, can go across the seas, but there's nothing calms rough seas like partnerships. And right now we have a crisis at the border, but it doesn't stop there. It filters into our communities, and we weren't allowed to to work with our federal partners. And this bill just simply says we are not only allowed, we are going to work with our federal partners. And the bill is also a recognition that the, the crisis of illegal immigration at our southern border is not just a border issue. It happens everywhere. In fact, your, your county is where one of the, I believe, the second busiest passenger cruise terminal. So there are many different ways in which immigration, illegal or legal, happen, and you just want every tool possible. That's, that's exactly right. You know, it, the, the crisis at the border doesn't stop at the border. It comes into our communities. It, uh, if you look at the opioid crisis we're fighting right now with fentanyl coming into our country, one of the main places it's coming in is, is through the border, and then it's coming into our community. So yeah. when, when you look at the big picture, uh, we want to be able to fight illegal immigration. As a nation, we welcome people to come to our country and do it the right way. But those that are committing crimes to get into our country, have to have to um, be fixed, and that's what this bill does. It gives us the ability to partner with uh, ICE and, and be able to get the illegal immigrants off the street and make sure our communities are safe all the way around. It's such common sense, it's almost shocking that it is a story, but we're glad you're doing it there in, for in Florida. Sheriff, thank you very much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having us. You got it.